it's really an attempt to say we have the capability now to protect everyone and to take into account the unique medical features of, of their health and select the best possible vaccine for them. There are two primary B strains and we're not very good about guessing which of the B strains is going to circulate. So the new vaccines will have the same two A strains, but now both B strains. And this, I think, will increase protection and coverage against the virus. That will happen first with one of the injectable vaccines, all of the nasal spray vaccine. And then over the next two to three years, all of the manufacturers will switch to four valent vaccines. Okay, we recognize biologically that when you're over the age of 65, you don't respond to the standard flu vaccine very well. So they've created a vaccine that has four times the usual dose specifically for that condition called immunosenescence. And then a new vaccine primarily meant for people who are afraid of needles, where the vaccine can be injected by a little micro needle into the skin, not even under the skin, but into the skin. And it really is ushering in a new era that we've been talking about for some time of individualized or personalized medicine. So instead of a one-size-fits-all, this is a very real example of the incredible advances happening in medicine where there's not one choice for everybody. There's a best choice for each individual.